Hi, my name is Michelle Willis, and I'm going to be sharing the first segment with you on learning how to conduct. The first thing we need to do as a conductor is to define our space. It's what we call the conducting window. The conducting window extends from the top of the head, down in a rectangle, and ending at the waistline. The best thing to do to learn about our conducting window is to do some exercises to learn to use that space. What I need you to do is pretend that you have a piece of glass in front of you and you're going to run your hands up and down the glass. And we start by going palms facing towards you, running it up against the glass, and then turn and run it the other way. We do this several times until it's almost like you can feel that glass in front of you, as a mime would do. Once you're comfortable going up and down smoothly, then we change directions and go out to the side and learn to feel the edges, the parameters of our conducting window out to the side. Once you're comfortable with that, then what we like to do is do a couple of activities at the same time. If you would take one hand and go up and down the glass, and your other hand would go out. Now this is a lot like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. It's difficult at first, but the more you practice, the easier it's going to get. Then you can change directions, do it with the other hand. This prepares us for being able to conduct a pattern with one hand and doing cutoffs with the other hand and other forms of gestures. Now I know it may seem a little odd at first, but I would encourage you to practice this in front of a mirror because the more you do that, the better you're going to become and you'll learn how to define your own space with a conducting window. Thank you.